Hello, Nomads Kalbt, and this is a tutorial about creating death maps. Um, and for this, you can use um, a web app called Midas. And so I show you what you can do with this. So here you see, um, yeah, two examples created with a depth map and so I add a, a plane here I validate it so sorry I use the snapping and I use more poly count I subdivide it up to a million here one million so here are a few examples here so when you use here the brush you get um, yeah, such objects here I, so or the owl like this and you can sculpt further with these objects and do funny things with it so what do you need so and yeah and these objects are created from flat 2d images so the only thing you need is you need a nice death map so or here this face of the woman here this is uh, this one here created only of the image and a death map so I add a new t tab for my browser and here the, the link is in the description. This is a web app. It's called Midas. Um, so this one here, Midas, the link is in the description. And you need here a Google account. So without Google account, um, it doesn't work. So you need a Google account and sign in. So you see here, um, here is step one. And um, this is a Python script, I think. Um, and here is a, a connection. So you can press on it. So um, he says it's uh, there's no connection uh, possible at the moment. Uh, sometimes um, yeah, are too many people uh, in this uh, server thing here, and uh, you can try to do it um, without GPU. So then it creates here on your iPad. Um, a connection here, the green uh, checkbox is active here. So the next step is here, step one, and here when you um, hover over this uh, icon here, you can press the play button. So then a warning appears, um, but you can execute the thing. And then you have to wait a few minutes so I don't stop the video at this point so you can uh, yeah, um, <laughs> yeah, watch this uh, whole process here but um, meanwhile I here you see the progress of the whole thing and here you see at the bottom here the timeline, um, so it needs um, a few minutes, maybe three minutes, I think. So here, meanwhile, you can uh, search for an uh, image um, you want to try. So maybe such a thing. Here the, um, I searched for BAS relief um, such such images created from an AI um, and yeah maybe let's test this one here so I press here on this image and 
save it to the uh, photos and so a nice thing is here when I use here procreate so I use here a, a canvas so you need a canvas uh, with uh, 512 by 512 um, uh, pixels so yeah it works also with thousand pixels by thousand so here I import the um, image and I adjust it to the canvas like this and I export it because when you use um, in Nomad Sculpt um, a brush it needs a square canvas so not uh, this ratio of the image uh, square canvas okay so I save it back as a JPEG file okay so let's see what the the Midas thing does so it's in progress so yeah and when this um, this web application is completely um, yeah complete loaded then you can do um, multiple win um, multiple images so you don't have to wait again so Let's see if there's a other picture. Maybe the eagle. This one looks nice here. Uh, or such a metal. Let's test this one save and let's use procreate and import also this image so and here we can change the and maybe a little bit the brightness something like this here and I export it as JPEG. So let's see the Midas thing. So here you see now it's done. So when it's done, then it's fine. So yeah, then step two, upload image into input folder. So here you see the folders and here's the, the Midas folder and it's like a yeah a normal uh, a tree of um, of files and here you find the input folder here you can press the three dots and upload it um, to uh, the input folder and here you search your your photos and so upload this one so maybe sometimes nothing happens here so i don't know why uh, you have to try it a few times so um, upload it again so now there's a warning and here now you see the image is uploaded here sometimes you have to do it one two three times um, yeah, or try other format, a PNG or something, but it works. So now the file is uploaded. Now here's step three here, run Midas. Um, so here is a small play button and press it. Then the whole thing starts. This only takes a few seconds uh, or yeah, 
you see it here at the bottom. So now the depth map is generated. And you see here um, 512 by 512, the input is always resized. So before entering the encoder. So now he is um, finished. So here is a second option, uh, alternate option, run this second cell if you want to create death map with higher accuracy. Um, so maybe we play also this here with a play button. Just wait a few seconds. Dee -da -dum. Waiting. Okay, now the whole thing is finished. So here you, you see here a folder called death. And the first file is not the file we need. The second one is the file we need. So press on the three dots and press download. So yes, I want to download this file. So, and then you find your image in the download folder here this is the the death map of the whole thing so and now yeah and i this one here i delete here um, okay and i delete also this one And the other one. Ah, not this. Not, I want to delete it. Yes. So here in the input folder, I upload a other picture. So let's try now this one. Okay, here you see the input, um, it worked. So we need step three. We run the Midas thing here. And so here in, in Nomad's Cult, we can now test our thing here. I clone the stamp brush. And let's uh, import the, the, the new height map. And for the color, I import the fitting color texture. This is this one here. So now everything should be okay. So let's see here, the symmetry is local, but um, symmetry is off. And now let's test uh, the whole thing. So this is what you get. So I go a step back. So now we have the symmetry in the center of this thing. And now it's possible <coughs> here when you press voxel remesh. So 
So now um, our wireframe is okay, so like this. And now we can use the symmetry and you can sculpt a little bit with this uh, thing. So maybe the nose a little bit more here in this direction. The eyes. So let's use perspective view. From the bottom. So the cheekbones a little bit and here also like this. So you can adjust it a little bit and um, sculpt with your um, alpha and yeah so I go a few steps back and let's test the other thing here. So oops too much. I think this was the point. So here uh, our Midas is finished or has finished and um, let's see the depth output. Um, three Okay, let's play. Ah, here. So let's download this one. So here is our depth map, and let's try it here. So Not from the photos, from the files. This one here. And here we need the photo. Yeah, let's use this one. So here is the intensity much uh, too high. So and our subdivision here, we need more poly count. So now it should work. So I think it's a nice result. Um, yeah. So that's it. Have fun with sculpting. Ciao.